So as you know, we've got £35 million to spend, which is an absolutely ridiculous amount of money. I've put some tweets on the screen from you guys. Feel free to pause and have a little read, some cracking ideas for players. And uh, let's get into who I'm interested in. And uh, instead of putting music to it, I just thought we'd go through them, have a look at them, and uh, give you my reasons why I actually quite like them. As you can see, I put on there their value and rumoured value. Now, starting with Josh, this is what I like about him. Look at that. Great tackle, great composure. L young lad, he's got great potential as well. Not only is he strong in the tackle, he can pick a pass out. Look at this. Picks the ball up, puts onto his left foot. He's predominantly strong on his left foot and uh, pings over a fantastic ball out to the wing. Really, really, really do like the look of this player. He's um, technically gifted. Really do like that fact that he's got he's got an eye for a pass, which is brilliant. Now, Lukaku, seven and a half million. I reckon he's rumoured to be worth about thirteen and a half million. Now, look at that first pass. You know, he straight away he's off. Look at this. He shows great strength. This is exactly what I'm after. Look at that. He gets in front of the defender. Not the greatest of uh, touches there, but you know he was running at full speed. And FIFA 13, they uh, they punish you for that. Gets the shot off. And he has the composure to get straight back up. Unfortunately, he doesn't actually score on this clip. But, you know, for me, that showed me everything I need to know about him. Pace, power, and passion. That is essential to what we're looking for. Now, this guy got a lot, a lot, a lot of love. A lot of love. Now, his value is 7.5 million. His rumoured feet is round about 10 million. Now, watch this. Look, look, see how he spots the thrower. You know, he, swatched his, he spotted his movement. He then gets in front of Tevez with a cracking header. Do you know what I mean? That is reading the game of at the highest level. That really is fantastic. He did then go and stand still, which uh, really annoyed me. Now, well back, nine and a half million. They're rumoured to be around about twelve and a half million would secure this lad's signature. This first of all, he shows his pace and power. I mean, great pace to get in there, and that's a that's a magnificent strike into the far corner to uh, to net the goal. I'm not 100% sure about him. This is what I did love about him, though. Look at that pure and unadulterated aggression. You know. No fear. He will get into a tackle. He would do his bit for the team. And he can pick a pass as well. A great lofted pass out to the left-hand side. I believe he knocks it into Paulie Skulls. Great ball. Great accuracy. And a great bit of vision. Now, this lad is a young lad. Kurt Zuma. Valley 4.5 mil. Rumoured to be able to pick him up for around about 8.5. Now, look at this. This is what we need. Look at that. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to destroy you and get up. Absolutely brilliant. And again, he can pick a pass. Great first touch, turns inside. He's not bothered that he's being man-marked by Tevez. And look at this for a pass. Left foot, out to the left-hand wing. That really is quite cultured. Really do like the look of him. And that's who we've been looking at, basically. So, let's have a look at the shortlist. There was a ridiculous amount of players. I can't honestly... I can't honestly believe the responses. I had so many tweets, I had so many private messages on Twitter, on YouTube, you name it. Now, a lot of love was for Lewis Muriel. Now, as much as I would really love to bring Muriel to the team, we just can't really do it. They want around about £25 million from an inquiry. Now, going by how it normally works, £25 million really means round about 24 to maybe 27 28 and that's huge, huge, huge money. As you saw there, I was looking at John Gudetti. Is it Gudetti? I really do like the look at that lad as well. And uh, Lukaku. Um, I've got to say, Lukaku, Lukaku, Lukaku. He's got great strength. He's got great pace. He's, he's got great ability. And I really think he could come in and fill into Josie's role without a single problem. Now, I'm only going to limit myself to, uh, to a reasonable budget with him. I don't want to spend in excess of £10 million, to be honest. I don't feel he's currently, at this moment in time, worth um, £13.5 million. So I'm going to go in with a cheeky punt of nine million. That's just that's a million under what I really want to spend on him. Um, if it came to it, if it came push to shove, if it came to it, I would spend ten. Now, I really want to try and bring in a centre back. Now the problem we're going to have is I've got a lot of ideas for uh, for midfield players, forward going players. Um, we've got Zaha. You know, I really like the look of Zaha. I like the look of this lad as well. I think he could do a job for us. You know, there's so many players. This is the real, the biggest problem. Now, this guy here, Jess Rodriguez, got a huge amount of love. And I looked at him, and do you know what? He's got so much ability. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable amount of ability. And as you can see, I'm only going to go in at 7.5 million. I don't want to pay any more, and I don't want to swap any players at this current time because we need to keep strength in depth. And as you can see, Palace came back and basically said, no, we're not letting him go. And they didn't give me a price, which was really, really disconcerting because normally that means they want... 
lots of money. And I think he's worth round about four and a half mil. So he could be speaking in excess of eight, nine million pounds for the signature of Zaha, which really does quite scare me. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a gentle punt and see what happens. Four and a half million. We're going to match his market value. Hopefully they'll come back and say yes or no. And as you can see, Chelsea came back quite quickly and said, we'll take nine and nine million pounds for Lukaku. Uh, I don't know what to say. I think that is just absolutely epic. We've picked up a, a huge player for £9 million. Well, saying that, we haven't actually picked him up. We've got to uh, obviously get the contract right. Um, as you can see, he wants a four-year deal, thirty grand a week, which is not too bad. I mean, at the end of the day, that's Josie territory. And uh, he is definitely going to be an important player in our team, for sure. So as you can see, he set a squad rotation. I didn't want to go with a crucial just in case. And, uh, yeah, important is fantastic. Now, I want this guy so badly. My only fear with this with this chap is the same as Lewis Muriel. They actually want over £17 million for him. And, you know, we've only got £35 million. And you have to remember, we're trying to buy strength in depth. We're not just trying to buy one or two players. We're trying to buy a lot of players, cheap, decent players, I mean, Lukaku, yeah, we just we just went and spent a huge amount of money on Lukaku, nine million. But you know, we need another striker. We need four strikers at the end of the day. We've got uh, Robert Hall, we've got uh, Benzia, who's going to be a cracking player, and now hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, we're going to have Lukaku. I know Filippo can play in that role, but he's he's really a lot better in uh, midfield or right midfield, left midfield. You know, floating around the midfield. That's where he's really really fantastic, and. Um, I want to bring in a centre-back. And these guys are my favourite centre-backs. I've got to say, Massey is just a tank. I would love to bring him. But the problem is we have, again, Season 3. It's Season 3, so he's going to cost us a huge amount of money. When I made inquiries, it was £16 million. And, you know, that's just not the sort of money we have to spend out on one player. You know, we can't be spending that sort of cash on one player. And I don't particularly want to get rid of any of the centre-backs we have or defenders we have because we need strength in depth which is very very important it's very integral to what we're trying to build now as you can see i really did build up some some mileage i've been to florentina you know i've been to i went down to west brom where lukaku was i've been back up to chelsea it's it's been quite a traumatic period i've got to say we've been all over the place i when i was over in madrid dropping wardy prouse off i you know i got to see jess rodriguez had a great sit down with the lad and as you can see the club accepted the actual transfer over a seven and a half million, which again I think we're getting a lot of player for not a lot of cash. And when I sat down with Jess Rodriguez, you know, he basically said he wanted to come to a, to an aspiring club that has ambition, good ambition. And he also said he liked Jaffa cakes. Well, do you know what? He likes Jaffa cakes. He's my man. He is definitely my man. So hopefully uh, Jess will believe in uh, in the conversation we had and. Uh, He'll hopefully he'll enjoy the Europa League football, and uh, as you can see, Zaha they want six and a half million. Well, I've now got to make probably one of the most heartbreaking decisions in uh, this career mode. I I had a wee chat with Big Kev, and uh, I sounded him out about a possibility of uh, moving away from Upton Park, and uh, he basically agreed. You know, he said. He hasn't been getting a lot of time on the pitch. Um, you know, the players that have come in, you know, he's a great fan of Eduardo. He said, you know, that lad's going to be amazing. He's got so much technical ability. And I have to agree with him there. But um, Big Kev basically bit the bullet and said, you know what, boss? I'll be happy to move. As long as the club progresses, as long as you can build on what you've done last season, I'll be more than happy to move away. But you, you've, you've got to do me proud and, you know, do the fans proud. So, uh, hopefully... Crystal Palace will be looking for uh, for a majestic player. I mean, at the end of the day, Big Kev is is fantastic. It's just, just such a shame that his stats have gone down because um, it annoys me. You know, that the stat values go down so quickly. So we're going to offer him plus five mil, five point four mil. So it should really realistically hit around about six and a half million what they're after. Now I'm going to take a big gamble because I want to bring in. A, a decent scout, you know, we've got two scouts, but they're not exactly exceptional. So I want to spend a, a little bit of a, of our money on a, on a decent scout, nearly four million pounds, which is quite a lot. So um, you know, it's a risk, but we'll, we'll hopefully he'll come good for us. And as you can see, we've got Lukaku, our first major signing of the summer transfer window. I'm really, 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 really chuffed with that. I think that's fantastic. And as you can see, look, Florentina basically came back and said no. 
No, 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 no. And uh, that's really disappointing. So we'll have to see how that goes. Isco is another player in my mind. The guy is fan-freaking-tastic. He really is. He really, really is. But I'm not sure we can fit him into the team because they want a ridiculous amount of money for him as well. They want nearly uh, 15 million for him. So I'm not sure we can. But look at that. Jess Rodriguez has belief has belief, and we secure his signature. Two major signings in the summer transfer window for me. I think that's fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do apologise that it's only one today due to work commitments, but rest assured we will have the continuation of the transfer window, plus an additional video which show highlights of the Charity Shield against Tottenham. So I'm dead over the moon. Let me know if you're over the moon that we've got Lukaku and Jess Rodriguez. I look forward to reading your comments, and as always, guys, I will catch you later.